Hello everybody, this is Green Spirit. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about cauldron magic. So I am going to do a haul um, again in a little while. Uh, but I wanted to show you what I recently acquired. Now I own several cauldrons. I own from a very tiny one to a very large one that my husband gave me and I've used another cauldron for many many years and I had no problem with it but when I came across this one at the price that I did I couldn't very well just not get it so this is the cauldron that I got it's actually an antique it is cast iron um, and it has a brass lid on it. Um, it also had um, a pestle, a long pestle um, that had some kind of stone at the bottom because it's an antique it has ground down so I decided to remove the pestle but I think it's absolutely gorgeous and you guys won't believe this but I only paid eight dollars for it and it's quite a good size. Um, I found it in an antique store. So don't be surprised again if I include that in this haul or in the next haul I do. So when I got this, I decided that I would do a video on uh, cauldron magic because I find um, after watching several videos on YouTube that a lot of the time the only thing that cauldrons are used for are sensors. So to burn incense on. Um, sometimes you get, you might get somebody who, you know, burns a, an herb for a spell or something, but usually it's some kind of, uh, sensor that is done. So, I feel like it's a little bit of a shame to just relegate this magical tool as just, um, a sensor. So I decided that I wanted to make a video detailing things that you can do apart from using it as a sensor so that you can actually implement other forms of magic. Now, traditionally, the cauldron is a symbol of transformation. This is seen because in many traditions, it is considered the womb of the goddess. Um, so, so today I want to bring you 25 ways to use your cauldron that does not use it as a sensor or a place just to burn herbs. Um, first, I would recommend that you cleanse your cauldron physically and spiritually. Then you would need to charge it with the purpose of being a vessel of transformation, change, and release and amplification of spells. You may wish to call upon the goddess to infuse it with this energy. Or you may even want to dedicate this uh, tool to your matron. Um, this will be up to you. So without further ado, here are 25 ways to use your cauldron. Uh, the first thing you can do is you can place sand or brick dust in the bottom of the cauldron about 1 to 3 inches deep. And charge three, six, or nine, um, depending on size, quartz crystals programmed to amplify spells. You may wish to put these stones in a particular pattern on top of the sand inside the cauldron, like a circle or a triangle. Whatever is placed inside will have the extra dose of power. Uh, so once you have done that, then you can also place poppets in. Uh, for ridding yourself of bad habits or for healing. That's two. Uh, number three, you can place sealed envelopes that contain wishes or desires. Um, and I have notes here. So if you guys hear paper, it's because I have notes. Uh, you can put paper, uh, envelopes that have your wishes and desires um, sealed into them and then place it into the cauldron to be released or amplified. Um, you can cook actual brews, especially like prepare ritual bath waters. Fill the cauldron with water and add appropriate herbs and let them steep alongside with some sea salt and some crystals. 
uh, the sea salt uses for purification. Um, you can put this directly over, because it is an actual pot, you can put it over like a, a gas stove. Um, or if you don't want to do that, you can also just put the cauldron on a heat proof surface and light a tea candle underneath it to heat up the water. This might take a little while. So I apologize, we got cut off. Okay, essentially you can also, like I said, put a tea light uh, under it and um, let it heat up that way. Um, this might take a little while. If you want to forego all of that, you can also just pre-boil some water, like in a tea kettle, and then add it to the cauldron. Um, and then once it, everything's infused, then you can add it to your bath water. The point is, is to actually put it in the cauldron to connect it with the goddess and transformation. You can use it as an asperger alongside with your broom. Place water, salt, and rosemary in the cauldron. Um, again, you'll want to make like a tea of this. Um, dip your broom and sprinkle all over uh, the area that you need to be cleansed. You can fill it with sand or potting soil and plant dollar bills into the soil, making sure not to bury them. Just roll them up and push them into the soil for a prosperity spell. You may also wish to take a bill that needs to be paid and place some dried alfalfa um, inside the bill of the inside the envelope of the bill. Then place in the cauldron. Tip: If you don't like, um, if you don't live near a farm or like an area like that that has alfalfa, you can just go to the grocery store and where they sell like alfalfa sprouts for like sandwiches and salads and stuff. You can just dry these yourself. Uh, you can burn Vesta powder on char a charcoal disc to exercise or dispel negativity. Uh, Vesta powder is, um, I'll, I'll show you a video on Vesta powder, if not you can Google it, but essentially it's, in a, it's a combustible with a base of, um, what is it called, saltpeter, and it's, a, it's excellent for cleansing rooms and that kind of thing. Um, you can dry herbs by either leaving them in a cauldron for a few weeks, stirring at least one to two times a day, or putting them in your oven at a low heat for an hour or so. Okay. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can use it as a mortar and pestle. You will just need to get a pestle. So if you already own like a mortar and pestle, use just the same pestle that you already own. Um, you can also connect with the sea and mermaid energy by placing seashells, sea salt, and moonstones inside the cauldron and charging under the full moon. Um, use as a holy water or like for ritual, like to anoint yourself, or you can also use this in baths. Uh, you may wish to place offerings in the cauldron to the goddess. This could be anything from food to flowers, etc. Just be creative. Um... You can put water in it and then charge bay leaves with your intent and float the bay leaves onto the water. You can draw a picture or take a picture of a desired goal and place it in the cauldron to allow it to come into fruition. For example, a picture of a house you want to buy. Uh, for all those art witches out there, for art magic, you may choose to place your paintbrush inside the cauldron to charge with creative energy. Uh, you may also wish to pull a tarot or oracle card with a meaning you wish to transform in your life. Place in the cauldron, and this is especially good for reverse cards. Um, for moon time magic or period magic or red tent, you can create a rice um, hot pad. Uh, just cut two pieces of flannel in a rectangular shape, so on three sides. In a bowl, place rice, lavender flowers, and rose petals, enough to fill the bag but also allow it to be sewed close. Mix the herbs and fill the flannel pouch you made, then sew the fourth side. Then stick your cauldron in an oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or until the cauldron is hot. Remove from the oven and place your rice pack inside 
of the cauldron. Um, cover it if possible if you have a lid or you could put like a plate over it or you know something like that. Um, let it sit there until the rice pack is absorbed as much of the heat as possible. Then place on your belly where you are experiencing cramps uh, to connect your womb to the womb of the goddess. Um, caution, uh, do not place this directly on your skin. You may burn yourself. Um, another thing you can do is use different charged crystals for different purposes um, within it. So for example, place rose quartz for self-love. Then place jewelry or a mojo bag inside to charge and or to uh, that you can carry and wear. Uh, you may also um, use it to cleanse things. Um, you can put salt or black tourmaline crystals in it or both um, and then go ahead and um, charge those crystals or the salt to remove um, negative energy. Uh, you may also wish to put your book, on, book of shadows on top or on the bottom of it to connect with the goddess energy. Uh, for prosperity magic, you can take 50 coins of any suit, for example, 50 pennies or 50 dimes, 50 nickels, 50 quarters, etc. Concentrate on your financial abundance. Then one coin at a time, place your coin into the cauldron saying financial abundance. Continue doing this until all of your coins are in the cauldron. Uh, you may wish to play, uh, plant, place a potted plant um, inside. Um, I wouldn't recommend for it to actually be planted in there, but you can leave it in the container. Just put it inside the cauldron. Um, and charge the plant with a specific intent uh, for three days to receive the cauldron's amplification and transformation energy. Then plant outside or put in a sunny window. You might also give this to a friend who needs it, for example, for wealth or healing. You can, of course, do fire magic by burning different wishes in it. Uh, to stop a bully or a gossip, um, you may want to place their name inside the cauldron, sprinkle with cayenne or black pepper, and shut the lid over them, or turn the cauldron upside down over them. Um, do this for however long it takes or however long you feel. This shuts them up, essentially. <laughs> uh, you may want to place um, salt and a black or uh, you can put salt you can do it black or or white salt whichever you have on hand inside the cauldron approximately a quarter cup to half cup fill with water then charge with banishing energy take a raw egg and rub it all over your body saying um, words of your choice to cleanse yourself of all negativity when done crack the egg into the water uh, the cauldron has now removed and transformed the negativity and finally, to signify the great rye or the connection between the goddess and the god, fill it with pine cones, acorns, or oak leaves. So those are 25 different ways that you can use a cauldron for your magic. Don't just relegate your cauldron as a sensor or just as something that was traditionally used but never uh, used now. Um, it really is a wonderful tool um, in magic and should be given um, just as much use as any other tool. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. If you really like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see future videos from me. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you for watching and goodbye.